what's up guys today i'm going to be showing you how to make this asymmetrical drape skirt so please tap the subscribe button below your screen and also tap the like button thank you so guys in today's asymmetrical simple asymmetrical skirt um block um the first thing you need to do is to get your basic skirt block and this is my basic skirt block right here so um then the next thing is to decide the length of dress you want how long you want i said dress length of skirt you want how long you want the skirt to be and since it's a mini skirt you can just measure from uh, maybe your waist to so anywhere you want really so just measure from your waist to wherever you want to locate the short skirt and for me about 20 to 22 inches from my waistline is just enough for me so from my waistline i'm just going to measure 20 or 22 inches and this is it pretty much so i'm not going to do anything i'm not going to pencil it up or anything i'm going to leave it exactly the same because i don't want it too tight if you want it tight like you want it penciled up just go in here by um, one inch or one and a half inches and then you connect back to your hip line right here so that's that so that's all i have to do to this skirt so when i'm cutting this for my um on my fabric i'm going to, i'm going to fold this border line up to cut the front of my skirt that is going to be on fold so i'll fold this border line to cut the front of my skirt and when I'm, i want to cut the back i'm just going to open it up so this part here is going to serve as the zip line of the skirt so now to get the draped part of the skirt i'm going to place another piece of paper underneath this and then i'm going to trace um the old skirt block i'm going to trace it on that new piece of paper so yeah um this is it right here i folded this just so i can have like a com full complete pattern here so i'm going to keep this one aside now then we work on this now the next thing i'm going to do is to draw in the asymmetrical shape of the hem so to do that at the hem right here i'm going to go by um maybe two inches or three inches so so i decided on two inches and this is it right here so i'm going to reconnect this up so before you reconnect it before you draw a line just decide where you want to connect the line to here and this is my hip line right here so i'm just going to go up by um one inch and this is it so i'm going to reconnect this back here not with a straight line i'll use the curved part of my french curve to draw this so yeah now i'm going to draw in slash lines into this so um i'm going to draw I'm going to first start by drawing one that is going to touch my dart point here and then I'm also going to draw another one that will touch my dart point also here. So yeah, these are the two slash lines right here. So this one touched this dart point here and this one also touched this dart point here. So now I'm going to draw um, more slash lines into this. So I'm just going to draw one more here and then I'll probably draw another one right here. So, yep. So yeah, I settled on two more here. This is one, this is two, and then I settled on one right here. So now, before I cut all of this open, I'm just going to um, add, an, add in my allowance. So I'm going to add half inch allowance to the waist here, one inch to the side, one inch to the side. And then I'm going to um, add one inch. You know, this is the new hem of my skirt right here. So I'm going to add one inch allowance right here. So yeah, for the slashing and spreading, I'm going to slash this line here, this one that touched um, this um, that point here, I'm going to slash that one first and then I'm also going to slash this one first so um, I'll slash these two lines first this one here that touched this that point and this one here that touched this that point so yeah this is it I slashed it up to where the that point is here and then I also slash this one up to this that point here so now I'm going to cut one leg of this that open and also cuts one leg of this that open so i can transfer my that space i'll transfer this that here to this line here and then i'll transfer this that here to this line here so i hope you got the drift so yeah this is it so i'm now going to i'm just going to reshape these lines i drew before so now i'm going to cut the rest of the lines so i'm going to cut i'm going to cut this i'm going to cut keep cutting this inwards and then i'm going to cut all all of the rest of the lines this one and also this one 
and so yeah this is it so all i have to do now is to spread it all out on a new piece of paper so i'll spread all of this out as much as i want and um, yeah pretty much so yeah this is it spread out so um what i'm going to do now is to i'm going to fold this just like i would if i wanted to sew it so i'm going to fold it just so that i can connect this part here and cut it out so yeah So yeah, this is it pretty much. So I already spread it out and then I cut it accordingly. So that's that for the draped part of the skirt. So now all I have to do now is to just cut this on my fabric and show you how to just like sew it together. Just a short sewing instruction on how to put it together because you know I am more particular about pattern cutting than how to sew because sewing is like this quite straightforward. So yeah. So these are my cutout pieces. This is the back. This is the back skirt piece, two pieces, and this is the front skirt piece. And this is the drape part. So you can see that I already cut this on also my fabric. Remember also when you are cutting it that you notch all of these points, all these points here. You notch this, 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 all the way. So now I'm just going to sew this now. So pretty much you can. If this is just for a miniature, so I'm not cutting lining or anything for this. So if it's for your um, your if it's an adult size version you know you have to cut the lining and um all of those things so um pretty much so now all you have to do is to just sew your darts on the skirt sew your darts on this also and then i'm going to join this together that is the back piece to the i'm going to join the back piece to the front piece right sides together here right sides together here and then i'll show you the next thing to do so um before you sew the front and back piece together i think we need to work on the drip first so i'm going to take this away and then look at all of the notched parts here so i'm going to fold this you can just use a pin to like um fold it up so i'm going to fold it this way and then i'll pin it down so i'm just going to um fold it all the way till i get to the top here and then i'll sew down so by the time i sew it and then i'm going to place it on top of this front piece so let me just do that now i'm going to sew all of the drapes all of the pleats i'm going to sew them now so yeah this is it so i also went ahead to iron it so i ironed all the pleats flat so this is at the back this is what it looks like in front so now i'm going to place this on top of my front piece so you place it on top of your front piece this way and then i'm going to sew it down so i'll sew it down here and also sew it down here before i then now place it on my i'll try now place my back piece on top of this and then sew right sides together so i hope you got the drift of what i just explained so yeah this is what it's going to look like so all i have to do now is to place the back piece I'm going to place it right sides together and then and then i'll sew at the side so you sew at the side here one inch so at the side here one inch and at the middle part here is where you'll be fixing your zipper so that's that for all of that so i'm just going to do all of these things now and then i'll put this on my miniature mannequin just so that you can see the full fit of the skirt don't forget to tap the subscribe button below your screen tap the like button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials when i post them i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>